Now we look at Matthew chapter 21, verse 1. And when they drew near unto Jerusalem, and we had come to Bethaphag, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus to disciples, saying, Go into the village over and against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied, and a cart with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. Now verse 3 says, If any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord had need of them. And straightway he will what? Send them. Okay, verse 4, where I am going now. And this was done that it might be what? Fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, by the which was spoken by the okay let's go to that verse 12 now we come back to verse 4 and jesus went into the temple of god and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the table of money changers and the seat of them that sold those and he said unto them it is written my house shall be called what the house of prayer but ye have made it the deans of and then verse 4 again that we read in chapter 21 of Matthew verse 4 says and this was done that it might be what fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets which was spoken by the prophets lift your hands up say I will fulfill glorious prophecy I, will glorious prophecy. I, am, destined I am destined to fulfill, to fulfill glorious, prophecy. glorious prophecy oh Lord Help me, Help me to fulfill the prophecy. Let me hear you say amen. amen. Now, I, I want all of you listening to the sound of my voice to know that there are prophecies. There are spoken words. There are things that have been spoken. Some are good, some are bad. Either way, somebody must fulfill one. It was prophesied or destined that somebody will betray Jesus. But somebody fulfilled him, the prophecy. You will not fulfill bad prophecy. You will not fulfill bad prophecy. Let us look at the positive side of it. Jesus Christ in this scripture, the Bible says, before he, he went to the cross, he had to quickly fulfill some prophecies. What was it? He knew he was going to the cross, but there are some ass that must be loose. There is a cord that has been tied that must be loose. The ass has been tied. We are not told who tied it. It was tied and it was also destined of prophesied that somebody will rise up who will lose that ass. As you are listening to the sound of my voice, they may have prophesied poverty in your family. There is also another prophecy that says that someone like you will rise up who will crush the spirit of poverty. You will fulfill good prophecy. Now, I'm seeing this scripture this morning from another perspective Jesus sent to go into the air and he said straightway when you get there you will find an ass tied who tied the ass number two that ass was meant to fulfill purpose but why is tied he cannot fulfill purpose some of you as you are listening to the sound of my voice maybe they tied you some way god also raised me up to fulfill the prophecy of losing you today you will not go bound you will not go bound you will not go bound let me pray for you i lose you now yeah, 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 yeah. i lose you now from any shackles i lose you now i lose you now i lose you now lift your hand and say amen So, it was written that an ass will be tied. 
it was also written that somebody must go and lose it. That is why you must return to God's will. Many on earth don't fulfill prophecy. They only fulfill evil prophecy. There is nothing that happened that has not been prophesied. You know, I showed you at the time when Pharaoh said to the Israelites in Exodus 14 verse 3, he said, I know the wilderness has shut them up. He said, the wilderness will shut them up. The wilderness will shut them in. That was his prophecy. When he said it, the Israelites were not there. Did it come to pass? It came to pass. Because a journey of 40 days became 40 years. And that generation died in the wilderness. That generation died in the wilderness. Because they fulfilled the prophecy. As I'm talking now, you say, Pastor, let me tell you, even cause is a prophecy. When somebody says something against you, it's been prophesied. But you also can turn the prophecy around. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Jesus sent his disciples. He said, go to the city over and against you. You will get to a crossroad and by that side, you will see an ass tied. Oh my God. That's an ass that should be fulfilling prophecy. That's an ass that should be glorious. If you remember later, immediately this ass was freed. Oh, Karama. Can I go deeper? Can I go deeper? When this ass was freed, I saw a ass that was walking on red carpet. Because immediately Jesus sat on this ass. The Bible said people began to remove their clothes on the floor. Who was matching it? It was the ass. It was the ass. But that would never have happened if the ass was still tied. And as you are listening to the sound of my voice, I want you to know that you are a prophet to your family. I say you are a prophet to your family. Pastor, how do you say I'm a prophet? Go and check Joel chapter 8 and chapter 2 verse 28. On the last day, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. So, you are the latest prophet in town. I know there are prophets. You are also a prophet. You are the best prophet to your life. I'm talking only to sons and daughters. When you are not a child of God, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about those who have accepted Jesus as their Lord. John chapter 1 verse 12. To as many that received him, to them gave him what? Power to become the sons of God. Of God. So when you receive it, you become a son. And you become a what? Prophet. That's why Jesus put it this way. He said, If ye shall what? Say to this mountain. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I like that. If you shall what? Say. A paraphrasing. If you shall prophesy to this mountain, be thou move. And he goes for that. He said, If you don't doubt in your heart, come back to that of hearts. So Jesus sent the disciples and he said, Go. To this city, and when you get there, you are going to see an ass that has been tied. What the Bible says, this was done in order to fulfill what prophecy. Now, my question is: assuming Jesus did not fulfill that prophecy, that ass would have been died unfulfilled. Some of you, as you are listening to the sound of my voice, even if you don't want to succeed, please change your mind because of somebody in your family. Change your mind. Because there are people, there's, there are people's school fees you must pay. You are not hearing what I'm saying. There are people's house rent you must pay. There are people you must buy clothes for. Am I talking to a human being here? Even if you say I don't like success, please change your mind. You must fulfill prophecy. There are orphans who may die in the gutter. If you don't rise up to responsibility, there are pastors who may not be able to go far if you don't support their ministry. I don't know who I am talking to. Lift your hands up, say Lord. Oh my God, shout and say Lord. Use me to fulfill prophecy. Shout it and mean it, say Lord. Oh my God, 
I feel something here. Shout it again. Say, Lord. 